Hi guys, Brett here from Hearns Hobbies and today I'd like to have a look and do a bit of an unboxing on Sky RC's Ultimate Duo 260. So this is a charger for, it's a two channel charger so it can charge two batteries at once, um, many different compositions, LiPo, um, high voltage LiPo, LiFe, lithium ion, nickel metal hydride, NICAD and lead. Um, most of the time we'll only be um, charging one or two types of, of composition but this charger can do it all so that's the first thing I'm going to have a look at the second thing we're going to have a look at is the JPRC uh, JP799 um, 10 option charge cable so that will expand the charger to be able to charge 10 different type of connectors and to, to demonstrate the various capabilities and the functions of the charger I'm actually going to use a couple of different LiPos here. So the first one is a 9 steps 4S 1500. We'll, we'll run through that. That's got an XT60 plug on it. And then I've got this bigger one here. This is a 3S 6500, again from 9 steps industries. And that one has got an XT90 connector on it. So I'm going to run you through a few of those things. So let's get the box out and have a look inside the charger. So Sky RC are known for making really good value products. Um, and what makes them good value is they're, they're very reliable and they can last you for years and years. So they're definitely not a cheap budget product, but they're a very good value product. You can get a long time out of them. Okay, greeted with a beautiful instruction manual. And that will obviously contain a ton of warnings because chargers can be quite dangerous, I suppose, if you have them on the wrong settings or using them inappropriately. Um, gives us a broad overview of the charger, which we can go ahead now and open up and have a look at some of the, take the plastic off the screen. It's a beautiful backlit screen on this one. Um, we've got, yeah, five big, buttons here which are plastic sealed so that should keep all the dust and dirt out if you're going to take it to the racetrack on the front here we can see that we've got our two charging ports um, with inbuilt charger lead so we've got an A port and a B port and then up to 6S each of balance ports uh, on the side here so we've got a, a USB a USB output of 2.1 amps that's really cool if you need to charge up your phone or something. We've got a DC input. So the charger itself is AC-DC, which refers to the fact that you can either operate it from the power point, 240 volt, or you can operate it from a DC input. And that can be in the form of a power supply, um, a 12 volt car battery, whatever. And that's a simple XT60 plug there you can utilize to make that. On the other side, we've got our power switch on and off and our AC input. On the back, we've just got a nice big heat sink, keep everything running cool. We've got a fan on one side here to get the airflow through and a nice bit of ducting. So really cool. Now I've gone ahead and taken the, the lead out to plug this bad boy in to 240 volts. So let's power it up and see what we can see. What we can see. Go ahead and plug it in. Like I said, you can see by the display here that it's really nice. Um, and people who have used multifunction chargers before should be quite familiar with the interface. Um, this will be the first time I'm using it. So let's see what we can do. Oh, sorry, a couple of other things that are in the box here, of course, are our charging leads. And it's supplied with two XT60, being the most common aftermarket plug. Um, and they just go into the charger with 4mm bullet connectors. And you can of course have your own charging leads made or adapted, um, like I'm going to demonstrate now. So I'm going to go ahead and plug one of these, one of these charge ports in. I'll charge, just plug this one into port A. And this one here, this is where my JPRC um, 10, 10 option charge plug is going to come in. I'm going to open this one up. Oops. 
and show you some of the options that we've got. So again we've got our two 4mm connectors that will go into the charger so that's that's a given. Then on the other side we've got a XT90 adapter, we've got the, the junior uh, the small Tamiya JST I think they call it, got a receiver plug there, we've got an XT60, we've got another style of receiver plug here to charging up your um, batteries if it's in like a nitro application or a plane application. We've got an EC5 connector, again very common. Here we've got a, a nice single cell, this is commonly used to charge up glow plugs, uh, glow plug igniters for nitro cars, so a single cell charge point there. We've got very universal alligator clips, so we can go ahead and just about clip onto anything. Um, this one here will have a Deans or a T plug connector, which has got a handy little cover on it, save so you shorting it out. And of course we've got the very familiar white Tamir plug. So I'm going to go ahead I'm going to put these sleeves over these alligator connectors to make sure that they can't touch anything or each other, like so. Go ahead and plug in this charge lead in the front. Okay, now to the A port, I'm going to go ahead and plug in this 9 steps 4S 1500 milliamp battery. So I'm going to use the XT60 connector here. Go ahead and plug that straight in like so and then I need to plug it into the balance board on the charger and it's marked with the, the negative symbol so that's where our black wire will go so we're starting from right to left counting the cells there we go so it's as simple as that so we've got both connectors plugged in now we can go to swap channels by checking by selecting the channel select button now channel a that's where we're charging this one so let's have a look let's give it a balanced charge so 14 amps is going to be way too much for this little battery i'm going to come down to just two amps just by adjusting it so we'll go up to 130 watts per channel on a 2S battery you might get 14 amps per channel which is more than enough for the applications. Okay then we'll go across to 4S, you can see here that we can go all the way up to 6S, I won't be doing that, it is in fact a 4S battery, select 4S, then we can push enter, we'll hold that button down for two seconds and this is where it's checking it over, so we've got four connected, four serviceable cells, and we can confirm to enter. Again, I'll push the enter button, and away it goes. So that's showing me the voltage, the time that's elapsed since I've started charging, the milliamp that's been pushed into the battery, and the charging current. You can see here, it's just doing a, a pre-start safety check and analysis on the battery, and there's no amps going in there yet. At this point, I can push these two buttons here, we can have a look at the cells on the battery. So here I can see that it's 3.86, 3.86 and 3.86. So they're all very evenly matched. The battery's in good condition in storage charge. I can see the next one here that we've got um, that the battery is 61% charged at 3.9 volts. And then yeah, just going back to the battery voltage. Okay, go back to the main screen, push start again. Now we can see we're charging at 2 amps and push. So far we've got 14, 15 milliamps in there. Okay, so let's have a look at the second channel. We'll leave that one on there to charge on channel A. We'll simultaneously hook up this big battery. Now this is a 6500 3S with an XT90 connector. Again, we've got to plug in our balance port start with our negative from right to left like so plug the battery in there and then we'll plug in our XT90 connector like so nice firm connection okay now I can have a look at this battery here we can have a look at the other options what we can do 
so we can fast charge it we can put the battery into storage I can discharge the battery down I can balance the battery charge fast charge so let's go to charge sorry I'll go back again so lipo battery balance so we'll balance charge it we want to get that down this one here will easily cope with 8 amps the big battery that it is okay now I have to put in the cell rating so it is 3s like so push the enter button there we go hold the enter button down for two seconds again it's running a check on the battery make sure that you've put in the right data three cells serviceable ready to charge enter there we go so as simple as that we're now charging two very different batteries um, at very different rates so we can go back here and check on how our channel a is going at any time we can see now that the cells are up to 3.94 volts it's now 69 percent charged to give us an indication and then we can go down to the bottom one here and see what's going on here we can see straight away that we're putting in 8 amps we've got 11.56 and it's been charging for 35 seconds go through again at perfect storage charge 3.86 3.85 and 3.86 for each cell respectively next bit of data it's 53 percent charged and there we go <clears throat> so that is just a few of the features of the Sky RC Duo 260. I hope that I've explained enough and get you up and running. Like I said, there's so many features and functions that these chargers can do. Um, yeah, so that's the unboxing of the Sky RC charger. I'm Brett from Hearns, and thanks for watching.